like to start with the case for it, people. Um, so for significance A, he said that um, their, their telescope is efficient and that we can use other methods. First of all, they're arguing some on significance, which means the argument can't count. For B, they said that um, there's lots of food here and we can use Earth resources. They have no evidence to back that up, so we can't really use the argument because they have no arguments. And for Roman numeral two, harms. A, they said that um, they said that their evidence say that we know a lot about um, this, uh, space, but their evidence only says that we know a lot more about space than the ocean. That still doesn't mean we know a lot about the ocean. There's a lot more knowledge out there that we have to figure out. And for B, they said that their evidence is to, from 2011 and ours is from 2009, which is more recent. But I want to state that you can check our case. Our evidence is from 2011 as well. So um, there's nothing, and, and we had two evidences. And for C, they said that um, they gave evidence on um, uh, that uh, they gave evidence, but we I like to say that we had two evidences stating that we um, the Earth is running out of resources and also um, um, that we're reaching period capacity. And for um, so inherency, they said that their evidence said that since people don't care about space exploration, they sent the telescope. Their evidence said that it's a telescope on another mission. It's not specifically Goldilocks planet, Goldilocks planets. Therefore, it's an inherent barrier because it's not a specific mission. It's a different mission. And um, they said that we shouldn't worry because we have a lot of knowledge. First of all, um, we can never stop learning. If we stop learning, if we stop gaining more knowledge, we're stop, we stop growing. We stop advancing as a nation. We can never stop learning. And for second of all, they said that um, we had um, uh, they said that we had no evidence, but um, it's, it's logic. There's always more to learn out there. We know that the solar system isn't limited. It's a vast amount of space. Space is a vast amount of space. It's not limited. We have a lot more knowledge out there. And for C, um, C they said that Earth has a lot more uh, radiation there, but I'd like to state that the evidence states that there's a lot more uh, radiation on Goldilocks planets that are orbiting red dwarfs, which means it's only specific types of Goldilocks planets, so we can avoid that. And um, for and also, we're not going to colonize in the next 100 years because we're only laying the foundation. That's not the point of our case. Ours is to explore. And for resources, um, we can use Federal Reserve money, we can use private companies, and um, resources will help the economy. So I'd like to move on to the disadvantage now. Um, first, their first point in the disadvantage, they said that um, radiation causes cancer a lot. Um, but I'll like to see that, um, again, their resource um, evidence stated that only Goldilocks plants orbiting red dwarfs, meaning we can avoid that. We can Cars of their dwarf um, Goldilocks planets are not rotating um, red dwarfs. And we're already subject to x-rays here on Earth. We're uh, exposed to x-rays every day. And people here on Earth still have cancer. So therefore, this, uh, this had, has no impact on the status quo, the current situation. It has no impact. Therefore, it's pointless. And for the po uh, first point of the plan, they said that we are using laser beam technology. I'd like to point out that laser beam technology and interferometry technology is completely different concepts. I'd like to read it again. It says that we will work, it will work by combining the lights that five telescopes will have. So that is not laser beam technology. And um, interferometry and laser beam are completely different, so it's, that's totally irrelevant to um, our case. And also, going back to this, this ad, they said that cancer is going to stop us. Cancer can't stop us. Just because there's cancer doesn't mean we can't stop in front of expiration. We can't stop for the sake of cancer because it's already happening here on Earth. And for other <coughs> languages, they said that we can't colonize. And uh, we, could, um, we can't colonize, um, we, have, we can't colonize, therefore we can't find extraterrestrial life. They're arguing sovereignty on advantages, meaning it's, it's not fair. And you don't, have to find, you don't have to colonize a planet to find extraterrestrial life. So I'd like to state you have to um, vote for the affirmative team, because the negative team is only stopping at the face of cancer, which is already a problem here on Earth. And also, um, they're worrying, uh, they're worrying, uh, we're worrying about the future of our generations. We have to save the next generation, which is why you have to vote for us, because that will be the only way to save humanity. Thank you.